It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Why. With Daddy. Okay, so for these try tips, we are going to do the low and slow cook method. One from the oven, one in the barbecue. You can see the oven is going to be at 325 degrees, and that's about the barbecue temperature you're going to try and use too. This time for my tri-tip, I'm using a different recipe than I usually use. If you want to see the other recipes, you can look at the link above or links below in the description for the other two times I have made tri-tip. In this case, we're going with a more steak one than I usually use, which is fresh garlic and salt and pepper. Right now, I am setting up the barbecue version. doesn't matter which tri-tip is which, but this one's going to be placed on the barbecue. You can see we're taking the garlic and rubbing it around the steak. That's hopefully there to get the nice garlic flavor. And you can see lots of black pepper and salt being added as well. More than I'd put on a steak. Why? Because, well, when we cut it, it's going to have just the crust on the edge only with all that flavor. So it's going to have the flavor on the outside with the meat flavor on the inside. And you can see the double wrapped foil. That's so that we can keep the outside meat from getting too brown and too black. And you always want a nice crispy crust on the meat. So we we'll make sure we're going to put a nice foil on it so it doesn't get too black and the inside isn't going to cook while the outside gets extremely cooked. So that's why we have wrapped that in foil. The oven, especially the oven, you got to do the same thing as the heat's all around. So this one's going to be using the oven. You can see the exact same seasoning is being used. Garlic, salt, and pepper. And it's foil wrapped again, both sides foil wrapped. This time it's going to be in the oven on that tray with the grates. And that's just to keep it from being the juices. So there it is at 325 into the barbecue outside. Here's a 325 into the oven. It's set for 50 minutes. So that's going to take it about 50 minutes. Then we check on it periodically to make sure that it's the dentist we like. Now, since I don't have a meat thermometer, I'm poking it with the tongs to see if it's done enough or not. And at this point, I feel like, okay, okay it looks like it's probably done enough. So we're going to go ahead and put it onto the broil. The broil is how you take the oven version and you get it into a nice crust on the outside so you can see we put it in the broil the broiler is going to heat it up on the top and you can see that is the browning that you like on a piece of steak so here we have the barbecue version the same thing you can see we take it out of the foil when it looks pretty done i test it with the tongs see it's done and then if you look i'm putting on the fire to the high heat so that that 325 temperature i had in the barbecue will now be a nice solid higher heat so we can nice and nice and browning on the edges of our wonderful steak so there it is all done get a nice coating a much better coating it looks like in that one and here we're going to cut them through this one is the oven one and you can take a look at it how rare it still is it's really rare that's fairly good for myself and my daughter and for especially if you're going to reheat in a microwave it gets it a little more done so it gets a nice wrist rare texture but my son doesn't like it so rare so you can see the other side this is common with tri-tip is more done. You can see the first few are pretty well done, and that's going to be more to my son's liking. It's very common to try to, to be like this, but since the inside is looking more rare than we usually like, for my daughter and myself, I cut through this much of it, and I put the rest into the oven so it can cook more. So here we have set up. That is from the oven version. We're going to test them later. Here is the barbecue version. You can see the cuts. It is a little more done on the outside. As you get to the middle, it gets more rare. And this is one benefit to tri-tip, that you can cook one tri-tip and satisfy people who like rare and well done with all those different levels of doneness. Let's see what we thought about the taste. All right, so let's try tri-tip A first. The touch of the black bread piece is just hardly too or not. <laughs> okay, a little chewy. The flavoring comes through really well. You really notice the salt and pepper, and the garlic is kind of a highlight, but not really there much. No, yeah, it's chewy. Good doneness. It's a fine piece of fine piece of beef. I am still chewing. <laughs> I 
I'm done chewing. And I say... <laughs> I I can't stop laughing. I say the meat is very chewy, the part I got. The rarer parts are chewier than the well done parts. And the first piece I got, I tasted the garlic first and then the pepper and then the salt. So I think garlic was the highlight of the dish. Well, I had two pieces because my first piece was not tender at all. So I was thinking, maybe it's just a piece. But it turns out my second piece was even less tender than the first one. If you didn't hear my teeth, you could hear my teeth grinding against you as I'm trying to chew the piece of meat. <laughs> oh, one good thing is that, you know, it had a pretty good amount of flavor. You could kill the garlic, the pepper, the salt. But I wasn't going to say, like, I got the not as rare part. So I was thinking, maybe that's why my thing isn't as... It's very chewy, but I guess not. I guess I had the less chewy parts. No, no. It's just a lot of flavor with terrible textures. No. The texture was okay at the end parts. How much time did five. we spend laughing? I don't know if that was a five minute take or okay. okay. Okay, now let's try B. Beef. Try tip the bumblebee. Try tip from B. So, dish B is sort of like the opposite of dish A. It has a much, like, much more tender, much better texture, but it's just not as much of that flavor of garlic or salt. Or just, like, it doesn't really pop out as much. This flavor was not as strong, but I kind of like that better because it kind of tastes like I'm eating a piece of meat. That slightly salted pepper and garlic, and there's more of a butterish type flavor. Even though you probably didn't put any <laughs> butter, <laughs> it tastes like might be because it's in a bowl, but it's juicier and has a more subtle flavor. The beef from B seems more. Juicy and tender, a little easier to chew. Uh, Flavor-wise, it was very similar, but yeah, I did not notice as much salt, pepper, garlic flavor as there was in uh, beef A, the tri-tip in A. All right, let's put it to a vote. A, B. What are we gonna win? Which one would you eat again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If you only had one choice. Okay. To go out with the votes, or it? Like the election. Your vote didn't matter, Camille. Okay. And it is unanimous. All three of us prefer the tri-tip in pot B, the one that was done on the barbecue grill outside. Happy Healthy Wife Chef, Barry here. Remind you to click on that like button or leave a comment down below. It helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.